Hey everybody, Carver Jesus with you. Welcome. We're gonna do uh, Immaculate Collegiate 1617 number three right now. It's two boxes. Ugh, I got. I have too many screens going on, frankly, to keep track of all this mess. And this is two boxes of immaculate. All right, listen, I'll tell you right now, I am not going, uh, I am not going Jesse style. I will show you the cards. It is whoever is the current 1617 team. If it is a, uh, a vet, an unteamed vet, then it will be who they played for the longest. I will sort it all out uh, later on, but I'm not... I'm gonna go through uh, go through all that mess right now. So we got a Derek Rose to uh, twenty five. Again, sixteen seventeen squad. Who it goes to? Kaminsky, twelve out of ninety nine. I mean, you could more or less look at the 16-17 immaculate straight basketball checklist and see who uh, who who it who it who it is. We have got a quad. It is 69 out of 99. Chris Dunn, Jamal Murray, George Nyang, and uh, Jared Uthop. Uthop. What the, the hell that is. Random on that one. Got to tell you, 9 out of 10, Deontay Davis. Single, double, double, double. Got to tell you, James Webb III, 13 out of 23. Got a redemption for Tyler Eulis. BK patch autograph. Twenty-eight out of ninety-nine two-color patch autograph. Malcolm Brogdon. Nice card. And a Wade Baldwin, 39 out of 99. Um, basically, like, since there are four teams on this, and there are four different people that have these teams, I will roll some dice at the end of this thing, put them in uh, random.org, and uh, just do a random to see who will claim ownership of this. Like that's, I mean, we, if there's any cards that have multiple, multiple teams, then we do it that way. And it, we, and we also don't do it if like the it, uh, it, uh, the Saints have like three teams and the Falcons have one team, we still do a random. It's just the Saints have three spots, Falcons have one spot, and we don't do majority ownership. Some people do. It just you that you kind of just have to look at like descriptions on, and like you know kind of how people do stuff. Twenty out of ninety nine, Jimmy Butler. A Perry Ellis, 20 out of 25. 
Another one is going to be uh, Random Off, an Ellis, a Selden Jr., and a Diallo to uh, 99. Jumbo Swatchery. Torian Prince, 10 out of 10. Three color. Right, we got a duel. Kevin Durant and Roger Clemens. Oh, this one's going to be a bitch. This one is going to be a bitch. Six out of ten. Oof. Right. I know. I mean, I I know how I'm going to do it. You be who you know you might be mad about it, but I know how I'm gonna do it. Uh Jonathan Murray, eight out of twenty-five. Two color RPA. A Patrick McCaw, seventy seven out of ninety nine, three color. And a Bembry to ninety nine. Bembry's Hawks. Okay. Let's roll some dice. Seven is our number. So let me get some of this out of the way. Let me go and get comfortable here. Okay. So our first uh, random will be the uh, Ellis, the Selden, and the Diallo. So come looky here. Seven times top spot. We'll get this one. Seven times money shot going to the uh, Diallo. Next one is a Dunn, a Murray, a Nyang, and the Uthoff. I've never heard of that dude. But we're going to go uh, seven times either way. You know, Dos, Trace, Quattro, Cinco, and one more. And the money shot going to the Murray. Okay, now the one that is uh, the old sketchy one. You know, frankly, it says that uh, anything of question is breakers a uh, choice or breakers discretion we should say so I'm gonna throw this out here you tell me if this seems uh, seems insane all right the Durant 
is a clear spot. Durant's a clear spot. The Clemens would normally, if he were by himself, to be randomed to the entire break. So, what I intend to do is to do a random to determine who Clemens would be associated with. Then do the random between the Durant and who the non-basketball non, uh, spot should be involved with, since there's no since there's no non basketball spot. No dole whips. No, you, you mean you, you got to include the Clemens a, as a as a as a non spot because any non spot is is uh, is 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 full randomable. I mean, I it's I mean that to me seems fair, and I mean, frankly, as God here, that's what we're gonna do. I was gonna wait. I mean, make sure that there wasn't like any kind of crazy reaction to it to make sure that I hadn't like full blown uh, missed something uh, something crazy. So we've got all thirty teams here. We're gonna go seven times here. Yeah, but it wasn't. Any any non basketball was a random to the break. So I am randoming that non basketball spot to the break, and it's Nuggets. Can't even spell Nuggets, and then I mean the Durant is Warriors. Well, no, I mean I, I mean I honestly think I mean that's I mean if there was a non-basketball spot, then a hundred percent, whoever bought that spot would be there. Because we have no non-basketball spot, any non-basketball. Spots are a full random to the break. So the Clemens spot is a full random to the break. So we so we establish who that would be, and that would be, at this point, right now, the Nuggets. The Durant sits at the Warriors. And then we go seven times to see who gets scored. Right? In my mind, it seems reasonable. Money shot. And goes to the Nuggets. No, it's, it's all random. It's all random. Thank you, everybody. We'll get this right to...